Oklahoma Christian Lady Eagles following an 80-61 loss to Lubbock Christian in the semifinal round of the 2018 Heartland Conference Women's Basketball Championship. We have head coach Stephanie Finley. To our left is Addie Clift. And to our right is Audrey Hayes. Coach, if you give us a couple thoughts, we'll uh, get into questions. Okay. <clears throat> a couple of thoughts are just that it's all about making shots. And I said that yesterday, we were making them to start out, and then your confidence builds and everything gets better on both ends. And today, I think we saw the opposite. The early shots weren't falling, and you start losing confidence a little bit, and um, your defense can slack off a little bit because you're hanging your head about your offense, and you can't do that against Tess Bruffy and the rest of her crew. And Coach, it really looked like their length bothered it, us today. Their length always bothers us and it bothers everybody. That's why they're such a good defensive team. Um, you want to get inside and try to get a shot up, but there's too many arms above you. So if you're not hitting your threes, you don't have a whole lot of chance, I don't think. And uh, Addie, I mean, it looked, it looked like they were, they were coming out and really – they, they were guarding beyond the three-point line. They were just making it hard for you to get any looks. Is that kind of what you were thinking? pushing out um, pretty far past the three-point line, like almost to half court, and I was like, you can't shoot it all the way out here. And so, I don't know, I just tried to really focus on my jump shot and get that going if, and dish it whenever they would come up and double on me. So I was still giving her the green light to try it from half court. Yeah. <laughs> she said, coach, oh, she's right here. But no, she was on my face. I was like, I really can't even see the goal, but I don't know. And Audrey, it looks like you got a lot of tough buckets inside. I mean, you were driving there, and I mean, they're they're so big in there. I mean, how were you able to to get those baskets? Um, I had a bit of a she mismatch. Got a pretty long arm. Yeah, I have, got some length, so I was able to take advantage of a mismatch and make buckets while getting bumped around. What's this year been like for you? I mean, you really effectively since Hope went down, you've been the only senior on a really young team. I mean, yeah. you watch this team develop a lot this year. I have. They've grown a lot since they've come in. Um, They've gotten a lot stronger and a lot smarter with the basketball and um, Katie and Maddie having to step in and start in the long time. I just they've really grown a lot as players and as people, and it's been really fun to play with them. And uh, I mean, I know, coach, that we talked about it. We're losing a big piece, but we do have a lot back next year. We do. We have a lot of bodies and a, and a lot of talent and ability. Um, Audrey's been a very patient leader with them and is just what they needed, I think, because Audrey's pretty even keel, and um, she nurtured them very well, and we're going to miss that, but I think Abby has come on here at the end to be a little bit of that vocal leader that we're going to need her to be next year, and um, Carolyn Lawley has shown some good leadership abilities as well. She's a transfer that came in, so I think Audrey's handed it off to some good potential there in our leadership, and like I said before, I saw that look in Addie's eye in the second half of our last Lubbock game that she was ready to put the team on her back and and try to get them fired up and try to carry them. And I think she's going to carry that over into the first next year. Well, Coach Gubbins just said that uh, OC is going to be a pain in the rear the next few years. Um, is that I see it brought a smile to your face. I mean, is, is that kind of what you're hoping? Well, we hope so. We hope so. Of course, you never know what's going to happen and um, what kind of new people other. Other teams get new people too that they might bring in their own Addies and Tesses and whoever. So it, it's, you know, you don't know what's going to happen, but that's our intention. You know, Addie, after the way you finished this year, are you excited about the prospects for next year? Um, yes, I'm excited. I just know that I still have a lot to work on and stuff. Like, I need to go back and probably get a little bit more stronger and develop my left hand a little bit more, but. I don't know, I just, I've had such a fun year this year. It's been one of the best years of basketball that I've got to experience with all my best friends. And I just want to say thank you to, you know, Audrey and Hope, because when I came in as a freshman, I was very timid and shy. And they just have always taken care of me. Like, I've never had to worry about, you know, being timid or anything, because they just always brought it out of me and just been really good to me. And the freshmen this year, I mean, they have, they have done awesome, you know. So I'm very confident about yet um, next year. But we 
we do have to go and rest and recover and you know get back to it in the summer. So. And uh, coach, with with this bunch coming back, do you kind of think maybe this, the sky's the limit next year? Oh, I, <laughs> I was getting warm in there while I go about getting in the weight room this summer and getting stronger. That's why she said that. She's trying to earn some brownie points. <laughs> <laughs> I just would like you to realize what she just said about this year for her being so awesome. And a lot of outside people would look at our record and say, well, you only won 10 games. So what? It's the big picture for us. And the big picture was trying to grow this team. And that's why we played a tough first semester schedule. That's why I always play a tough first semester schedule. And sometimes that can beat you down, but if you get over it, it can also be the thing that makes you good at the end of the year. And I, and I think that's usually what happens with our teams. And um, these guys were very patient with those freshmen and bringing them along. And we were very inconsistent, and that showed in this tournament as well. Um, yesterday we were great, today not so much. But, you know, I knew fatigue would be a factor, and you got to have a perfect game and have your tank full going against Lubbock if you're going to knock them off. But, um, Things happen, and if we could have been hot, we would never know, but it, it didn't happen that way. But we don't lose sight of that big picture, and uh, Audrey knows that she's laying the foundation with those freshmen to try to do something in the next three years. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.